Hi everyone and welcome to my AP Art History channel. I'm Kate and I'm a student learning about AP Art History. I have a passion for art and I love visiting museums and I'm going to be reviewing the pieces of art as I learn about them to help me and you study for the AP Art History exam. So let's get started. Let's start with the prehistoric art. Today we're going to start in China. I'm going to talk with you about the Jade Kong. This is a prehistoric piece from the Neolithic era. It was found in Liangchu, China circa 3300 to 2200 BCE. The people of Liangchu lived in villages. They irrigated land, traded food, and other items. They performed religious rituals and buried their dead. This was no doubt a very sophisticated culture. What do we see when we look at this piece? First, it's a square with a hole in the middle, kind of like a bracelet, except you could not wear this around your wrist. Imagine this stone about 14 pounds and six inches wide. Jade Kongs have been found in different heights. Some are a tall stack and others are short with only one or two faces. It's unknown why the variation of height, but when you look at them, the squares have identical faces on each side. So you're seeing faces of a mythical creature. When you look carefully at the face, you'll see these lines coming from the eyes, which are actually hands that are not the same proportion as the arms. These faces are not ordinary faces, rather the face of a god that's looking in all directions on top of another face. Could these be versions of the same god or multiple gods? In the case of the taller Jade Kongs, you see the top of the face has two bands that perhaps symbolize a headdress. In some cases, the eyes have a mask design over the eyes, sunken pupils and a mouth in the shape of a bar. In Khan Academy, they say that scholars have suggested that the square is a symbol of earth and that the hollow circle perhaps represented the sky and the heavens. The Jade Kong could have played a crucial role in protecting their dead in the afterlife. Now let's talk about the material used to make the Jade Kong. The name gives it away. Of course, it was made out of jade, which was a beautiful mineral stone that the Chinese carved starting in the Neolithic period. Jade has a beautiful green color, but it was a very difficult material to work with and definitely a long-lasting material. The Jade Kongs were carved by rubbing it with sand and water, making these precise lines. The artist had to be really careful not to crack the stone as they rubbed the sand. So just imagine how hard it was to make this work of art and these perfect lines with such positions and they were all handmade. Can you imagine the artist's hands after a long day of work? Wow. So why did they make these pieces of art? Jade was linked by the Chinese with durability and beauty. The Chinese in the Liangchu and Hongshan cultures both used these to protect their dead ancestors in the afterlife. And yes, they had great symbolism in the Neolithic time period. Perhaps they used these to represent their gods or deities. They were actually found in burial sites of people of high rank, like nobles. But since these were used for religious purposes, Perhaps these were priests buried with these deities. And there you have it, the Jade Kong. 